Hello and welcome to another new review video of Cracksweed. Today in this video, I'll give you the review of latest Durface ROM which is based on latest Android 13 and has Android security update of February 5, 2023. And if you look at its kernel, Exorcist kernel is used in this room. So in this video, I'll showcase its performance test including Antutu benchmark, Geekbench 5 and 6, CPU throttling and many more. I'll also focus on its features, customizations as well as bugs that this version of room has. So let's get started. Camera so let's start with camera this room comes with miy camera and all the features including photos videos and even 64 megapixel camera but the major bug of this room is also in its camera app you can take pictures or videos but cannot view them from its camera app as you can also see on the screen and not only this you won't be able to find that picture or video on your gallery or photos app and to access it, you need to enter into file manager app and this is a serious bug that developers should address and resolve quickly. You can use Google camera app to fix this problem and Google camera will show photos that you take on gallery as well as on that MIUI camera. But that MIUI camera won't show the photos that you have taken from it. Google photos storage. Talking about unlimited Google Photos and Videos feature on Google Photos app, this room provides this unlimited storage feature on Google Photos app. Antutu Benchmark Score Moving towards performance results, I'll start with Antutu Benchmark Test and as you can see the final result on the screen, the Antutu Benchmark Score of this room is 340340. And comparing this score to my recently uploaded video of Spark OS, it appears that the score for Durfest is lower because the Spark OS has Antutu score of 354733. Geekpens 5 after Antutu, I'll show you Geekbench 5 and 6 test result and first I'll show you Geekbench 5 score and as you can see the score for single core is 560 and score for multi core is 1608 which is a good score compared to other rooms. Geekbench 6. Now I'll show the score of new Geekbench 6 and the score for single core is 745 and the score for multi core is 1748 which is also a better score compared to other custom rooms. CPU throttling test. After Geekbench I'll show the results of CPU throttling test which will evaluate the performance and stability of the device CPU under heavy loads and as you can see after 15 minutes of CPU throttling test CPU has throttled to its 94% of maximum performance and average score is 163960 which is considered a good score for this phone. Safety net test. So now let's see the safety net status of this ROM and as you can also see it has passed the safety net compatibility test and also on play protect certification device is certified. User experience. Talking about user experience, this ROM provides a good user experience without any lag, slowdowns or shuttering while scrolling and swiping on the screen. However, there may be a slight slowdown in animation when swiping on its quick panel setting. Although this is negligible and can easily be ignored. And you can see the app opening and closing speed of this room. Tell me in the comment section how is the app opening and closing speed that this room provides. Wallpapers and styles. Moving towards wallpapers and styles section, you will find same old features like wallpaper colors, basic colors and other additional features including dark theme, themed icons, app grid, system icon packs, system fonts and system icon shape. And in app grid, you will get up to 6 into 6 sized app grid. Launcher. Talking about launcher, this room provides turfest launcher and from its recent app section you can find options like app info, split top and freeform option and still kill app and uninstall option is not present. And if you look down on recent app section you'll find screenshot and clear all quick action button and still we cannot get lens and screenshot button together on recent app section. 
but you can replace that screenshot with this lens option also pin app feature is missing in this surface room quick settings this is how quick setting panel looks like and here you will get a separate auto brightness style along with other important tiles like scan qr code usb tethering extra dim screenshot door fist etc and from the screenshot tile you can also take partial screenshots just by long pressing on it and for normal screenshot simply tap on it and you will also get shorts lens feature after taking screenshot settings now after seeing all the features of this room let's jump into its settings section and explore what new customizations are available in this room from its network and internet you will get private dns option and here no any custom dns are available that now many rooms are providing and from its app setting you will get screen time option from where you can track and manage the amount of time that you spend on your phone and along with screen time you will also get game space feature on this room which looks something like this and from its battery setting you can view battery uses of your device along with a graph and in this battery setting two new options are again added and they are daily battery usage chart option which will allow us to view battery uses for past 24 hours and second option is this battery light which will give access to customize the options like pulse if battery is low or turn off when full charged and you can also set normal brightness level as well as for do not disturb mode and from its battery saver you will also get unlimited battery option <laughs> i mean extreme battery saver option overall in this battery setting you will get lots of battery related tweaks and settings and from display you can enable dark theme option where you will also get pure black custom theme and if you scroll down in display setting you will get option for tap to wake and tap to sleep and both of them are working properly without any error as in its previous build some users were facing problem on this option and from security setting you can enable both face and fingerprint option and in this section you will also get some new features like disable fingerprint lockout which will basically deactivate the timeout that you will get after multiple failed fingerprint unlock attempts which means you can try unlimited fingerprint unlock attempts and this auto reboot option is also something new from where you can also make your phone to reboot after a certain time and the maximum time that you can say it is 72 hours and also if you want to use app lock feature you can use it from here and if you want to hide app then you need to enter into launcher home setting and both hidden and app lock feature are working properly in this store faced room and on its system setting you will get buttons option from where you can enable this taskbar feature which will help you to multitask even faster and you can also enable this age long swipe action and can choose between eight different options to apply as this age long swipe action feature and if you want to disable power menu on lock screen then simply enable this option then you won't see power menu dialog box even after long pressing power key on lock screen mode and in system you will also get gesture setting from where you can enable our favorite swipe to screenshot feature as well as quick qs pull down and brightness control option are added here in gesture setting and in this room you will also get Torfest updater app from where you can check if new versions of Torfest is available or not and at last on system you will get thermal profile and game mode action which will allow us to adjust the device performance and temperature by selecting different thermal profiles Dorfest room offers a door space section that provides various customization features for your android phone and if you enjoy customizing your device then Dorfest can be a great option for you as i have already covered a lot in this video i don't want to make it too long and boring so i just suggest you to try out the customization for yourself to get a better understanding of its capabilities so this is all about Dorface rom i have installed this rom on my redmi note 9 pro max you will get similar features on any other phone so what do you think about this rom you can share your thoughts and experience as usual on the comment section below and thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked my video then don't forget to hit the like button comment down below share this video and subscribe to cracksoid 
also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye